Recording, recording, everyone's good. I'm gonna clap. Okay, and action. Bryce and I had met sophomore year, at the very end of sophomore year, which is like a week before COVID hit. And didn't know him super well, but that summer I had actually texted him um, saying, I have a really good idea. Let's make a feature film this year. So it would have been junior year. Um, and he was kind of like, hold your horses. Like, let's make some shorts first, whatever. I was like, oh, okay, you're probably right. Cause like, we had never made anything together. And so I, I came up with an idea for a screenplay that we could shoot with like, the practical considerations in mind that we could shoot like on weekends and on afternoons at a college campus, you know? And so that's, that was my objective. I was, I, you know, cause I've written like lots of screenplays in the past, but this was the first one where I'm like, all right, we're actually going to make this. I had an idea for a story where it followed one like protagonist who's in it start to finish and he kind of bounces around from like supporting character to supporting character. It's kind of episodic in that way. That way all the supporting characters, it's like, all right, come in, we'll, sh we'll shoot your scenes in a day, maybe two, and then you're done. You know, and so like schedules were a lot it's easier to line than they would have been if we had people from start to finish in the, whole, in the whole film. So that's kind of what I did. And then like when I was writing locations for the screenplay, it was like my house was a location that I had in mind for, for, for one. The story is about a college freshman who goes to visit his girlfriend for the weekend. She goes to a different school. So this is the best food in town. I think it is. A bagel. And right when he gets there, she breaks up with him. And so he has to spend the rest of this night like at this college campus where he doesn't know anyone. He kind of uh, runs into a bunch of random people and like the, the night does not go according to plan, basically. I remember when I was pitched it to you, I had like the cop stuff was, was in there. And that was one of my biggest concerns. We would have to get a, a police officer. And I'm like, you know, all of our friends, you know, people we would get to act are our friends who are our age. I'm like, how do we get a police officer, you know, to act in this? And we really, really lucked out with that. We just like, yeah. we were, we, uh, Bryce and I were shooting audio for somebody else's short and we're at this covered bridge and this police officer just come, comes here and asks what we're doing. So the guy who's in charge of like the shoot, he goes and talks to him. He comes back, he's like, uh, we're like, is everything okay? He's like, yeah, he, this cop is interested in acting. And we're like, Oh, we need a cop and act. And this is like two weeks before we started production. We go up to him, um, and he's like, "Yeah, I've got uh, unmarked uniforms that don't say like uh, the specific departments, and I've got like a, a fake light that you can put on top of a car and make it look like a police car." And like, that was just actually a miracle because <laughs> I don't know what we would have done if it wasn't for that just wild coincidence. That's a good way to describe how this even got made. Mm -hmm. Is a lot like the, I mean in a way the stars kind of aligned because funnily enough like when I'm walking around campus like I'll kind of see a spot and kind of put it in the back of my mind for example there's a, a room in the library that looked very barren so it was you know it definitely made me think of like a police holding cell where it's just you know very tight plain you know there's just a table in there um, and so it, you know when I saw that I was like oh like that could be used for anything like that you know it's just very compact and plain. So yeah. Andy Rice, one of our professors here, um, I actually, so we, we reached out to him pretty much when the semester, when fall semester started saying like, hey, we, uh, we want to make a feature film. Like I wrote this script, sent it his way. I'm like, uh, what do you think basically? And I remember he emailed me back, was like, uh, this is a very ambitious uh, task you're you're about to take on. He's like, I I don't know if I can recommend it. You will not eat. You will not sleep. Like this is this is probably just too big for your own good. And um, you know, which maybe he had a point there. So we had like an like half hour long to an hour long conversation, just kind of mapping out our thought process. And I think that's when we kind of convinced him. He was like, oh, like, you guys seem to kind of know what you're doing, at least, like, like having written this for pra with the practical considerations and, like, actually shooting it with so logistically possible for what we could accomplish, you know, in, during the school year. And so then he read the screenplay and, and gave us, you know, pointers and his, his feedback. And Andy, actually, I... Desperate times called for desperate measures. We needed a like a cop number two, like just like for literally two lines. And um, 
I like texted him the day before. I'm like, we can't find anybody. Um, can you be the, in our film? He's like, what do you like? What do you need? And we're like, a cop. He's like, oh. <laughs> He's like, but I, I'll do it. Carl Novosel. Yes. You can come with me. We, we needed to film in an ice cream shop, and so I reached out to the people and creators and to ask if we could film there. Um, and they were super nice about that and very helpful, and they opened up the store early just for us to go in, um, and uh, the worker agreed to like be like a little extra in like the wide shot or whatever. This is basically no budget territory, which like, we like you can do like in today's day and age like you, like everyone has cameras everyone like we're we're editing on DaVinci Resolve which is free like it's crazy but you have like all these resources that like people like maybe even 10 20 years ago would not have had as easy access to and like I think we've even impressed ourselves with, with what we were able to do and so like we want to just continue doing this I'd like people to watch it and think like I just watched the movie Instead of, I just watched this kid's project, for example. And to me, I think it, it has a certain relatability, uh, for sure, that I hope some people take out of it as well.